Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of me, Budget Gaming HD. In today's episode, we will be reviewing Real Power's Gaming Rampage 850 watt power supply, and it's a fully modular power supply, so you don't want to miss that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Budget Gaming HD. And like I've mentioned, in today's episode, we will be reviewing the Real Power Gaming Rampage 850 watt power supply, which happens to be a fully modular power supply. Now, the reason I'm reviewing this is, is because it recently became very popular amongst all the power supplies. And I wanted to know, is it a good deal power supply? Not one of these 850 watt power supplies that weigh two grams, but is it a really proper power supply? And then review it for you guys so that you know you're buying the right product for the right price. Will I say it's as good as Corsair? Well, you'll have to wait and see the end result. Now in this review, unfortunately, we can't benchmark it in any way. I can just put it into my PC and have it play a few games and, and then just tell you in a couple of weeks, which happens to be now at the time of making this video, is it an actual good deal or is it just another scam? So without further ado, let's do the unboxing, let's install it and let's see the end result. So let's jump into this unboxing. I like the look and feel of this box and I must say the power supply already looks quite sexy. It's got a nice weight to it as well. So on the back you'll find 24 pin ATX connectors, 12 volt connectors, SATA connectors, Molex connectors and PCI Express connectors for your graphics card. Do mind this is a 850 watt power supply. I'm expecting some beefiness out of it. On the front you'll just see Game Max, Rampage 850 but I must say it looks really good so I'm quite excited. Now let the unboxing begin. Removing the plastic foam. On the inside you'll find all your connecting cables, a user manual, some screws and of course the power supply so this is just a user manual for those of you who never installed a fully modular power supply and it just explains to you the basics ins and outs yeah the pack of cables that are included in this power supply and then some screws with some cable ties now onto the most important part, the power supply. As you can see, it's quite well packaged and I must say I'm quite impressed with it. All your ports for all your cables that you want to connect. And now the nice thing about having a full modular power supply is you're not forced to use every single cable, which would make your case look a lot cleaner. On the side, it just says RPG 850 Rampage and it looks absolutely fabulous. I can already tell from the weight of this power supply, it's not going to let me down as it's got quite a good weight to it. That normally just means good quality components like capacitors, ICs, transformers, etc. But otherwise than that, I am absolutely in love with this look. It looks absolutely fantastic. And if you have a side panel, clear side panel, then I would say show off your power supply. Now onto the connections. It is pretty easy to get them in. You just have to position your pins, push them in and that's you on the go. Push them until you hear a little clicking sound and then you know you're good. Once you're done, you'll see you're left with a bunch of cables. Never fear, this is quite normal as this is a fully modular power supply and like I've mentioned, it will make your cage look a lot cleaner. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy making this episode and if you liked it, please remember to hit my ding dong to stay up to date with my latest content and I shall see you in the next one.